Right then folks, we're in the back room at Tango Towers, which is Mr. Chippy's bench. And on here we have got Mark, G7NDJ's Skiptech power supply. I don't know why it wants 14 amps, it's probably going to run 14 radios off it. But anyway, is it seven? Is it seven to ten? Mark's here today. Yes, it was bought off a of radio rally, supposedly uh, working. Oh yeah, well that's the usual. Yes, and how much did you pay for it? Uh, um, a good price for it. Would that be less than a tenner? Less than a tenner. That's fine. Okay then, right. So Mr. Chippy is going to fix it in the next three minutes. In its box. So we fix this, we'll put it on eBay for ninety nine ninety nine. So, it's upside down. Now the thing about these, we all here like traditional transformer operated power supplies and not switch mode ones. Switch it on. Perhaps we ought to run it through the... Uh... Well, it makes a nice transformer noise. That's just the mains neon that's lit up. It's the same circuit as the Altai range and others, so there won't be any surprises. Um, Dead. Yep. Right. There's no voltage there whatsoever. Okay. So, we'll turn it on so I'll it. pause the video, and Mr. Chippy will take the screws out. So now we've opened it up, and there is a predictable printed circuit board in there. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if we don't just unsolder the big transistor on the back and do a test. <laughs> what do you reckon? Um, yeah, possibly. I want to see what voltage is going to that transistor. There we are. I'd put your smouldering bat, bat on them, because you're going to use it. screws. So what's the output of the um, bridge rectifier for a start? You might need no both on that. Yeah, 31 which is about what you... Oh let's put the meter in uh, so you, everybody yep. so all over the world can see that. 31 volts, yeah. 32 off the What's on this transistor? Yeah. 31 on one end. Oh, 31 on the other. Oh, so it's 31 in and 31 out. So. 31. Now that's to the uh, bridge rectifier. So to the actual negative on the power supply. There's nothing. Is it possible that there's an over voltage protection and because the output transistor has gone short circuit? Yes, probably. It, it could be cutting it. Mm. Yeah. Right, let's right. pause the video. Right, so Mr. Chippy's unsoldered the output transistor and we'll now put the transistor tester on and see what it says. Yeah. It says it's a transistor. Good. So that's not the fault. No. We'll solder that back together then. Pause the camera. Right, we've come to a conclusion. We first of all suspect we wanted to check the output transistor. We've checked it's in the right way around because we're scared it's being changed. It's a 2N4 3773. So it's capable of 16 amps. So it's, it's the same pinout as, as a 2N3055 but can sink and source more um, current. So when we looked into it, we thought, where's the bridge rectifier grounding? Where's it, where's it getting its earth from? We've got the two wires going in to the bridge rectifier from the transformer, but we couldn't see any earth. So Mr. Chippy has discovered this. So I've just got the camera now in position. Is it? Uh, yep. Yeah. Can you waggle it? Yep. Yeah. So that's the centre tap of the transformer and it's just broken off. So yeah, so the print's broken. So when somebody's thrown it in a skip, it's broken. So we'll deal with that. So we're going to deal with that. Okay, so we've uh, corrected that, put it all back together, 
And now it's going to be the moment of truth. We're going to have our fingers crossed. So are you going to uh, get your power supply connected, put it in so we can see it? Yep. And I'll connect this up first. You're then. just delaying it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Will it go bang? Will it go bang indeed? So there's, can you get the voltage? Well, some residual voltage there, so that's a good sign. There you go. Really? Yeah. Yeah, 13.8. So have we got a small bit of a load somewhere? We've got some bulbs kicking around, that's haven't we? A bulb here, I'll just. Five watt car bulb, so that's half an amp, and then we'll move over to the proper load, which lives in a kitchen cabinet. Everybody should have one in their kitchen cabinet. There we go. Yeah, that's a five watt bulb. Well, it was, and it's still thirteen point eight three. Right, I'll go and get the proper load. See. So, right, so that's connected it up to our uh, electronic load. Switch on the electronic load. Switch on the power surprise. So that will tell us the voltage, 8.58. Yeah, 30. in fact, I may as well zoom in on the meter because nobody wants to look at the power supply and the smoke comes out of it. So what will One do? amp, yep. Set to one amp and enter. There we go. So we've got one amp load, 13.79. Uh, have you got it on the knob, that? Yes. Yes. So I've got two amps. Two amps. Three, four, five, six. That's supposedly seven constant, so that's that's that. Now those did I say those transistors are capable of sixteen amps, but that 16. doesn't mean all day. Yeah. So it's what, seven to ten? Seven to ten. Right. So what I want you to do That's already getting hot that yeah. transistor. So I want you to turn it to take it to standby off there. Turn it up to 10 and then switch it just on for a, a, a couple of seconds. Right, voltage drop 12, 12. 12. Yeah, yeah. No, right. It. So it will do it for a second. Um, so back to 7 amps. Right, go put it back on. So it's still happy 13.5 volts. Take it to 8. 13.29. Twelve point eight. That's that's the maximum you'd want to do, but it will do a ten amp surge, so it does tell the truth. So there we are. Um, right, we better put the uh, lids back on. I'll put the. Well, we've got other power supplies to look at, so um, this is the other one you're taking up. Yeah, I'm glad you're reminding me. Yeah. <laughs> see if you're paying attention. <laughs> right. <laughs> la, 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 la. I'll put that over there. Uh, I've got another power supply we'll be looking at tomorrow. Can you stop that? And uh, we're just going to put the lids back on. Okay, I'll just actually, I'll just turn this tannoy down. Um, one of the things we've just um, I was concerned checked. when I was feeling the transistor. The transistor was getting hot. The heat sink wasn't, and there's absolutely no heat sink compound on it whatsoever. So what we're going to do is address that and therefore improve the product. Hmm, mm, not good. Right, so he's redressed the lead, and that was one of the snags. And it's just now a matter of soldering those three wires back on and then boxing it up. So hopefully we get the cat in shot. As you can see, he's put some sleeving on those wires and redressed them, resoldered them, the whole thing. What he's now going to do is um, use the Aldi little, little, little heat gun, believe it or not, a battery operated heat gun to do the heat shrink tubing. So you do that. Put it on hot. And don't do your hair with it by mistake. No. Wow! Done. Look at that! That's fantastic, that is. Aren't we all impressed? Absolutely right, hot. lid on it. Right, we've put it back together, so now we're going to test it again. Make sure it still is working. On, 7.8. Yep, and... Uh, so I'm just going to set straight to 7 amps. 7 amps. On. That made it grunt, didn't it? It did. So now we've put the heat sink compound on, hopefully. Hopefully it's all warming up more or less together. Yeah, well the transit isn't getting red hot straight away like it was, so that's better. No, it's fine. Good. Jobs are good in, and that's a skip tech H no RPS twelve oh seven HQ, whatever HQ stands for.
Headquarters. Headquarters, that'll be it. Like you. Thanks for watching.